There's no reason to wait as long as you look both ways. After New York City legalized jaywalking, we wanted to know tonight if Bostonians thought that we should do the same. As WBZ's Brandon Truett reports, most people didn't even know they were breaking the law. It's not every day your bosses ask you to go play in traffic, but this assignment captures the spirit of Boston as good as any. I think pretty much everybody kind of just jaywalks. I feel like I see a lot of people just, just going for it. Jaywalking and Boston go hand in hand, or maybe foot in foot. In this fast paced city, who really has the time to stand on the corner and wait? I feel like I see it at most intersections. People, people know the lights, or sometimes they don't know the lights. They try to time it and they jump right out and will definitely cross whenever they can. Just last week, New York City officials made jaywalking legal after a review of data found 90% of jaywalking tickets were going to people of color. In Boston, you can technically receive a citation for it, a $1 fine for the first three offenses and $2 for each after that. I didn't know it was illegal. Yeah. I feel like people do it so much. Did you know it was illegal to do in Boston? Um, I'm pleading the fifth on that one. Is that right? Yeah. I did not know that. Have you ever seen anyone get a citation or if you? I have never seen a citation. Lots of honking from cars and yelling from other folks, but never a citation. Being the serious journalist I am, I reached out to Boston police to see how many tickets they gave out last year. They said they don't really keep track of that kind of thing. In essence, jaywalking just is not a top priority. Uh, no, I'm not going to step in front of a car, but <laughs> cars don't own the streets. We own the streets. <laughs> To wait or not to wait doesn't seem to be much of a question in a city fairly unruly about the walking man. In a crosswalk in Boston, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.